Okay, so for this next fly, I'm gonna tie a, uh, it's a variation of a Copper John. This is basically just a, uh, it's just a red Copper John, honestly. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I'm Mike. So, but this is just a small size 14 uh, red Copper John. And uh, we're gonna make this happen, so it should be fun. Stay tuned. Okay, so the thread that I'm gonna use is a uh, UTC Ultra Thread in red yeah and 70 I'm just pull that bead forward start right behind the bead make sure all, all the way up and all the way back and then spin that thread just to tighten it up Cole wake up dude my dog's asleep okay cool come in here with your Air tip scissors, cut it off. For the tail, I'm going to use uh, these black biots. Just kind of tear out a couple biots, and then you want to you want to not drop them. Uh, okay. There you go, and just line them up with the points facing away from each other, back to back, basically, and then. my thread base like I like it okay that's smoother there we go and just come in and you almost want to point them outward like away from you and then come with one loose wrap and you're gonna kind of tie them in on the side almost and then when you pull your thread you spin your thread you're gonna get them to point out just perfect and then grab them both and then don't quite wind all the way up, kind of come back. And then you're gonna tie in your wire. And I think this is, uh, yeah, this is a UTC Ultra Wire in red. This is, uh, the size is uh, medium. So, come in, pinch your wire, tie it in on the side. Loose turn, and then once you got it, then you can work your way back up. Get all those buyouts too. Just break those off all the way up to the bead and all the way back, and then all the way front, and then kind of build that taper up just a little bit right there behind the head. Don't go all the way to the bead. And I know for some people, they kind of look at a fly like right here and they're wondering how they're gonna keep that bead from sliding back. And just don't worry, you'll get there. You'll manage. And I'll, just, I'll throw in a half hitch right behind that little bump or a whip. And just kind of hang my thread up and then come in here and just kind of spin the hook. Make sure the wire's touching. the turn bring it up to over only about right there I think I let my wire roll over that's when my body looks a little bit uneven but it's all right I was tying my wire in. I think I let it roll over a little bit on me. And then just go over about three or four times and back up to the bead. And this stuff right here just kind of, after you shake it a couple times, it pops right off. Okay. And then I'm going to bring out your peacock. Your peacock. And then pull off about, usually I use two or three. I'm going to use two because these are pretty thick. Of a peacock curl off your eye. Need two more. I don't like this. And then just 
break off these brittle ends right here. Yeah, you don't want those. Just kind of snap those off. Time in just behind the bead, and then there you go. Keeps you from having to make a cut. Okay. And then just lay those off to the side. And then, let me see, where's that? Where's that stuff? I just had it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Here is my flat mylar tinsel. And you don't need much. I just, I usually just rip off little small pieces at a time. And uh, this stuff kind of curls, you know, just cur uh, tie it in with the curl down and just kind of lay it right on the side. And when you tie it in, it'll roll over on top, just like such. turns to lock everything down. Come in here with their scissors. Fold that mylar tag back. Okay, there we go. Now come in with your peacock. Wrap all the way up. And it's okay, you can make it look a little bit bulkier than you actually want it because it's going to kind of smash down once you uh, put the tensile over top of it. And this to me, I like I like using the Mylar tensile other than Flashaboo because I think Flashaboo is just too, I don't know, it doesn't look like a wing case to me. Just tie in your peacock, come in here, snip those off. And before you tie in your legs, um, for the legs in this flyer here, I'm going to bring out this partridge skin. See, see that and pull off a couple of the tiny brown uh, feathers right at the net part of the hackle and they don't have to be small they don't be too too small this is a size 14 hook so I'm not I'm not worried about you know getting them down to like midge length so here's your feather so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the end of it I'm gonna pull off all the fuzz all that kind of stuff and there. So that's kind of like how you would set up a normal soft tackle. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the tip and then peel some of these fibers back. Just like that. And I'm going to cut the tip off completely. Okay. Oops. Don't drop it. Okay. And then all you really want is once you do that, just kind of pull these fibers off, some of them, and make it look just like this, like a horseshoe almost, and then just bring it on to each side of the fly, and then pinch it, and then come over with a really loose wrap, and then get it tight. Two and then pull tight. Two, three. And then just come with your scissors and just trim off each end. Trims off real easy. Don't worry about getting all these butt ends you know covered up. They'll uh, they'll go away with the, when the tensile's put on. So there you go. Now pull the tensile over. Cross your thread. One, two, three. And then peel back. And then one, two, three. And whip finish. Super easy fly to make. And don't worry if you have that red thread exposed. It adds a lot to the fly if you ask me. I kind of like it. And then instead of Pulling it forward, just kind of give it just a small little cut, like right around, right at the corner. You know, barely cut it, and then it's kind of the tensile just usually just well breaks off, just like that. Okay. 
Well, it left a little tag for me. No problem. Cool. And last but not least, coming here with a little bit of a. Uh, this is a uh, thick clear cure. Just hmm. put a drop. Barely. Just kind of work that in how you like it. Let it set for a second. And then come in with your, with your tor torch and hit it with the uh, UV. This stuff cures up in just a few seconds. And that's it. There you go. That is a red Copper John. But it's heavily weighted. I'll use this right here as an attractor fly when I'm fishing a, uh, a dropper rig. And a midge. Well, there we go. Very nice. Have a good one.